PGA Tour players are master craftsmen. The golf course, their canvas, and the golf club, their brush. And every week, these instruments of artistry must be fine-tuned for peak performance. Hi, how you doing? My name is Wade Lyles. Welcome to the TaylorMade Tour Band. We're going to go ahead and build a driver for Sergio Garcia. He plays the Mitsubishi Diamana shaft. So we're going to go ahead and tip this three quarters of an inch. That's going to make the shaft a little bit stiffer for Sergio. So we'll give it a mark and tip trim it right on the dot. So what we've done here is we've just taken off a small amount of paint that's going to give us a rougher surface for the epoxy to stick better so we won't have any problems with the head falling off. Next, we're going to glue our sleeve onto the shaft so we're able to put the head on there. We use a special 24-hour epoxy and of course we're not going to wait 24 hours for it to cure. We put it in these custom curing cells the TaylorMade is made for us, and it's going to accelerate the cure time from 24 hours to three minutes. Our three minutes is up here. 24 hour epoxy, three minutes, it came out. If there was a head on here and a grip, you could walk right outside and start playing this driver. That's how quick and strong our epoxy is in this truck. When you build up a 300 golf club in three days, you have to be able to build golf clubs quickly next step for Sergio is to find the right head for him. So it looks like on this order I got to find an R1 head that starts at about 10 degrees and we're going to finish at 8.5. I found one here that's starting at 10 degrees. So this here is a good starting point for Sergio and we're going to make this R1 10 degree head finish at 8.5. So I'm going to move it a couple clicks towards the lower. I'm actually going to check that I have this exactly at 8.5. This machine here is called the Lion Loft Gauge. Every club we build in the truck goes through this machine. This machine will tell us exactly what the loft and lie of the golf club is. People ask me, how is it to fit pros and is it harder or easier? Well, with that technology right there, it's so much easier. If I would have made this club from scratch and I messed up, I would have to start all over again. But now with this technology TaylorMade has, simple as just turning a screw. We've prepped the shaft for Sergio. We tipped it the way he likes it. We glued on the sleeve. We have the head attached. Next is going to be to cut it to his proper length. Standard driver out here is about 45 and a half. Sergio places at 44 and a quarter. The way he comes down and hits the ball, his wrist, he generates a lot of club head speed, which is why he can hit it as far as the big guys with a shorter driver. The next component is to go ahead and put on Sergio's grip. Sergio plays a standard Tor Velvet 58 round. So right there, what we have is an almost finished golf club for Sergio Garcia. The final step of Sergio's driver build is to go ahead and swing weight it and go ahead and do the face angle position that he likes. Sergio actually likes the club to sit a little bit open. We're going to use our face angle system here and open this up to the one position. The last step is to go ahead and get the balance point the way he likes it. We're going to adjust the weights. He likes his weights to be pretty much even. Back in the day, you would see a lot of lead tape on player golf clubs. That's the way they adjusted ball flight. Through a TaylorMade, we've taken that lead tape and now we've made them into weights. We're dialed in here. It took us about 10 minutes to build this golf club for Sergio. It's ready to be hit. So what I'm gonna do is put a head cover on there, put his name on it, put it in our bag, and he's got his own personal R1 for the week. Everybody at the track does an amazing job. They take care of, of everything you, you want, everything you need, and they get it spot on. So when you know that you have those kind of guys working for you, you're always so much calmer when you get new clubs or anything like that because you know you can put them in play right away.